Hi guys, I am today going to show you my method for doing the buffalo plaid cup. Um, I don't know if you can pick it up or not. Um, this, this one is a huge color shift between green and orange and it's lovely and it's called fall leaves and it is the perfect color for fall and this one's also, um, it's called drizzling mist. But if you notice, um, the mixed squares are lying flat and the other ones are um, raised up. So it's more of a texture cup as well as, as a color cup. So I am going to show you how I did this. So some of the supplies that you're going to need are a paintbrush, um, popsicle sticks, the tack it over and over paint or a dumb glue. Uh, it's a repositionable adhesive so you just need to be able to um, reposition it when uh, and, and so it's sticky when it's dry. You're going to need a matte clear primer um, to seal it and you're going to need two colors of glitter. This time I'm doing a red and a really dark gray and some tape to tape it off. So the very first thing you're going to do is make a mixture of about 50% um, tack it over and over and 50% water just to thin it out. Um, I already have this pre-made in a little container here so there's lots to do, lots and lots of cups here. And you're also going to want to mix your two glitters together. So this is a mixture of the red and the black. Some say 50-50, some say 60-40. I just put one in and put the other in until it looks really good and leave it at that. So the first thing we're going to do, I use these um, straight-sided mugs because they're straight-sided. makes it a lot easier when doing a plaid pattern to have straight sides. Um, I've painted this one black because just because I painted the other one black, I don't I don't know that that had anything to do with the color shift or not, but um, it's just what I went with. So you're just going to take a little bit of your glue mixture and like by a little bit, just tip the very edges of the brush in and you're going to brush it on your cup. As you can see, because this is a black base, um, it's you can see it's white. It might appear kind of greenish under this light, but you can see that it's it's very white and you want to cover the whole entire cup with this paint, or not this paint, this glue. You want to paint the glue onto the cup all over everywhere, including the handle, and make sure you have a good even coat all over everywhere. That's important. Not anything we can't fix later if we need to, but it's important to get a nice, smooth, all over everything layer. Make sure you get all of the sides of the handles. The barrel cups have a rounder handle than these ones, so these ones are kind of squared off. And you just tip the end of your brush in and paint her on. Get all the nooks and crannies, make sure you also get the bottom. If we need to, we can go back in after we burnish our glitter to um, recoat it if necessary. Now, after you get it all on as evenly as you can, it's going to start to dry, and when it dries, it's clear. You do not have to do this right away. This is more of a patience game than it is anything else, because if you start trying to burnish your glitter into this right now, you're going just to make a royal mess. So we're going to set this aside until it is completely clear, and sticky. So after about 10-15 minutes you get it's clear and you can hear 
it sticks just a little bit. It's like a, the glue on a post-it note or on your Cricut mat. Um, I left a giant fingerprint right there. That's not so not so great, but we'll work with it. Um, this I actually painted on last night, so it dries clear. You don't have to race to get anything onto it. Um, So we're just going to put this away so we don't get that all full of glitter. And then I'm just going to stick this in some water and get rid of the popsicle stick. Okay, so I'm going to, I've got my mixed color in my cup. I'm just going to start putting it on. I'm over parchment paper, so this glitter doesn't really like to stick to parchment paper, so that's a good thing. And I'm just going to keep putting it on. This is a very pretty color. These colors are from M and Cat. Um, wine red and um, something storm I think or is it I can't remember deep space so I'm just sprinkling sprinkling get it all on there oh look we ran out so we're just gonna whack it whack it that is I think you know, up just that color it's so pretty I'm going to take my parchment paper and I'm going to dump my color. I'll just drop it into there. to mix some more here. So let's just start. No, I'm not going to start the burnishing process. I'm going to set this back down. I want as few holes in this as possible before I begin here. So. Sides of my handle. Oh, it's so pretty. And I'm just going to do this. I'm going to pick it up. Sprinkle it on like that. Okay, so the burnishing part is the fun part. You see it all. See how it goes when it all lays flat? So. Now you can do this with any glitter. Any glitter, you can do this. It will stick. You can use this as an adhesive for anything. You will not get the holographic effect for any glitters unless you have a holographic glitter. So don't put just a regular old glitter on a cup with the tacket method, which is what this is called, and expect that when you rub it, it's going to all of a sudden become holographic because this, this one is, and it's lovely, and you probably can't see it, but so I'm brushing all of this. You can see there are places where the black is coming through, and that's okay. Um, it's not going to stay that way because we're going to fix it, but I think I need to mix a little bit more glitter first and try and get my balance up. 
note to self, always, always, always make sure you have more than enough when you're mixing two colors together. And see, it happens. I just didn't get as good a coat in that spot as I should have done of the glue. So, no big deal. Nothing. Nobody's going to die. Nobody got hurt. It's not that important. People stress about it so much and then they feel like epic failures. That's not you because it can be fixed. I love this color. So you see we got all these spots and that leave a little to be desired. But see how it's all lying so nice and flat. So what we're going to do is I am going to clean up my mat and get my glue back. All right, so I got my glue back now, and I am just going to go over any spots. Can you see where it's a little streaky? There's, oh, there's a whole big hole right there that clearly I missed. Um, so we're just going to go over any spots that show through black with the tacket again. So I'm just going to just do another layer in those spots and we're going to wait for it to dry fully. Before we put any more glitter on there because it, it turns into a mess when it's wet. Just as evenly as you can, just go over any spot. Well, I'm just going to go over the whole thing at this point, but go over any spots that you missed. Because you didn't have enough glue there, that's the only reason that happens. You don't need a heavy coat. You never need a heavy coat. You just need enough. And tacky glue might be what you think of when you think of the tacket method. It does not work. It's a glue. It's just a straight, regular, everyday sticky glue that is sticky when it's wet, but when it's dry, it is not. So um, I think I've got this all covered again. So now, now we just have to wait. So just remember where it's white, it's wet. It's a little harder to tell when you have a white base. Um, so I'm all dry now so I'm just going to uh, fill in my gaps and see what happens when I brush burnish start to burnish the glitter again I, I made up some more some more of my color and hopefully it's going to blend properly because that's usually what happens with mixed colors. If you don't mix enough, you can't ever get exactly the same thing again, but we're hopeful. Okay, and I'm going to get into here. Anything that's loose. Make sure you're covering everything. Make 
making sure there are no wet spots because what is going to happen and this is where I think most people feel like failures is if you have a wet spot where it is white and you try to burnish it you're going to drag the wet with you and you're going to lift glitter that you've already got even laying down so you just want to make extra specially sure that you do not have anything hindering that process. This is a messy process, by the way, and glitter flying all over the place. So see, we did a second coat. We made sure that there was no white. And it is finishing up beautifully. And you would never know. I'm just gonna make sure everything is lying down. Flat, flat, flat. You can see the holographic in this. Maybe you can't. It's always so hard to tell with these videos. Handle inside. And make sure you don't have any loose glitter and it's just all laying nice and flat. So that, that is your mixed color right there. So what we're going to do, I'm just going to take it downstairs to my basement to do because that's where I do my spray painting. Um, and I'm now going to go and seal it and let it dry really good because we do not want, when we put tape over this, we do not want any of this lifting back up again. So we're going to seal it down to make sure that it is not going anywhere. So I will be right back. <laughs> 